A $15 minimum wage is in Tucson's future. That's after unofficial results show the yes vote winning by a substantial margin. None of your sites here in Cenas breaks down Prop 206 and tells us how it could impact local business owners. Preliminary results show that Tucsonians will have a little bit more money in their pockets with Prop 206 getting nearly 60% yes votes. Now this sets Tucson apart from the rest of the state of Arizona, hitting a $15 minimum wage by 2025. We just won. <laughs> Tucson is celebrating a new $15 minimum wage, but that extra money won't hit Tucson workers immediately. It'll happen over a three year period of time, starting with a spike to $13 in April and not reaching $15 until 2025. CJ Boyd led the campaign. Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, we've got tens of thousands of folks who are going to be given a raise. That's the biggest thing, obviously. Boyd and his team went door to door ahead of the vote in their fight for $15. He says about 100 local businesses and organizations were on board with the wage hike. Whenever we raise the floor, it really affects the whole community and we you've got folks who are making more than 15 now that should also expect to see uh, raises go up as well. Not everyone supported the proposition. Carlos Ruiz, the owner of HT Metals, said it wouldn't be good for business. A barrier between my relationship with my employees and, and myself as the business owner and, and, and it creates a anti-business climate. The passage of Prop 206 means there will also be a new Department of Labor Standards within the city. It would oversee worker complaints and employer violations. Once again, with the passage of Prop 206, Tucsonans can expect to see that first spike in April. Sierra Encinas, Kagan on your side.